Let's see what drops. Surge Needle? Monka, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Tear Token, Rob. Surge Needle. That is so fucking insane. Are you kidding me? Frozen Orb, Enraged Feral Staff. Ah, damn. My son. The day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name Arthas. You guys see me? Yeah, I'm buying the shirt. Hey guys, are you guys tired? That wasn't come on the shirt, by the way. That was that was toothpaste. <laughs> Are you guys tired of next? Well, let me tell you something. I can ruin dungeons. Yeah, what's that? I'll tell you what it is. You go in with four people, four friends. Who am I kidding? You click this little thing and you enable kind of a hard mode. What this thing does is it makes things more difficult. It's always positioned in the beginning of the instance. So you have a hard time finding that and your penis. I don't know what's wrong with me. And basically, once you've enabled this, the mobs will become more difficult. Quick. Oh, there we go. Now it's activated. Okay. They will do more damage, for example. They will have new abilities. Now, depending on the dungeon, there's different abilities. But one thing that's like just remains the same is that they'll do 30% more damage and health increase by 100%. If you're not going to keep, you get turned into a little ice block. If you are in Vile Hole, for example, they have mirror images. You just copy themselves. One shot them, boom, they're dead. But it's kind of nice to have different abilities on all the trash. And I mean all the trash. Now, the one I found the most difficult was Gundrak. Because holy shit, we couldn't clear for first boss. However, we are in PTR gear. Pre-raid biz, don't judge me, okay? So, yeah. But it, uh, it adds a little bit of a spice. Now... What do you get, huh? What do you get? What, what, Lord? What you get is when you down a boss, you get valor, and then you get an epic. The bosses that aren't the last boss, think of it as maxta, think of it as grobulars or whatever. But the last boss drops items from Kel'Thuzad, Sarth, or Malagos, and a tier token relevant to ten men. All in all, it's kind of cool. It spices things up and it makes you not want to go next. Because fuck me, right? But there's one more thing. Yeah, that's not all. What is it, precious? What is it? That's right. Achievements. Yeah! Yeah! I don't know why I see people that want to have achievements as Pegasus, but that's you guys right there. Yeah, I like achievements too, but I'm not like that. Yeah! Hell no. All in all, is it a good thing, bad thing? If you're really geared, don't go in there going, oh my god, a difficulty. No, 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 no. It's going to be super easy. But if you aren't geared and you're on your 500th ult, for example, then uh, you know it's a quick way to get go gear, gear, go go gear. Also, search needle drop for me, so <laughs> boe probably not gonna be as good. However, one thing that I also want to point out: abyssal crystals will probably drop in price. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you know, chill a little bit, and maybe you can buy them very, very cheap instead of hundred gold each. Now, yeah. That's all for me. Guys, click the like, hit the comment, and say like, Hey, no, I can't do find my penis. I have, I can't find my private parts, and I can't find people to play with. Find your penis for a dollar. Find your penis. One dollar. One dollar. Find your penis. Find your penis here. You know, something like that, maybe. Um, and, uh, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> but, okay, cool, cool. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, I'll go. I'll see you guys. We told him to go away, and away he goes, precious!